Ryan from Media Spotlight UK, and I'm here with Miles. Um, what are your thoughts on tonight's fight, my friend, and how are you feeling now? Yeah, I think I started very strong, started fast, probably a bit too fast. Um, went into the centre of the ring straight away, put a good stiff jab on him. Um, I was, I believe, I need to watch it back fully, I believe I was up on points until the knockdown. Obviously, it happened fairly late in the first round. Um, that was fine. Uh, but then the second round, started the second round, was fine, was working off of the jab there. Um, and then by the end of the second round, towards the end of the second round, halfway through, I had the weirdest adrenaline jump uh, dump possible. Uh, it's very, very, very weird. I've never had it, even musically, I've never had that. And I, I just couldn't, I couldn't breathe. I couldn't, I couldn't move, like standing up was hard even in a corner. Um, I don't know how much you saw of me in the corner after I was there for 10, probably 10, 15 minutes and I couldn't lift up my neck. Like, I physically couldn't. Um, went to see the doctor, I had oxygen after and it was just, yeah, man, it was, I've never ex experienced such a feeling. Like, it was really weird. But, yeah, Deji, Deji hit me with an absolute peach, man. Double, uh, double jab right, great, great shot. Uh, coming from low, exploding up, hit me nicely, um, went down. I wasn't, I wasn't really phased by it, but it defo took, it took it out of me, definitely. Um, and I've perforated my eardrum, so yeah, it was a, it was a great fucking shot, man. Yeah, I give respect to anyone that steps into the, into the square circle, my friend. Um, what was your corner telling you um, after the second round? What was being said, and how did you feel? Yeah, how did you feel like after? Like, after what was your corner start. saying in between? Uh, oh, so. Obviously, from the first round. The first obviously round. what was said after that first round? First round was, are you okay? I was like, yep, absolutely fine. Uh, it was just get your, uh, just breathe, take a minute. You've got it, it's fine. Uh, we'll go again. And then, obviously, at the end of the second round, um, Luke, my coach, said, bro, I'm, ca I'm calling it. Like, you can't, you can't breathe. Um, so, he called, yeah, he called it, called it off straight away. And I think it was definitely for the best, man. Um, live to fight another day exactly and at the end of the day it's not it's not all about the boxing for me and I've said this from day one it's not just about the boxing I took this fight on four weeks notice you know with um, with no experience I had to lose eight kilos in four weeks it's two kilos a week it's a lot in such a short space of time as well yeah and like to, especially on this week on fight week I was on 1300 calories to get down to the weight. I was on 1,300 calories, so I've been physically drained. But I'm not taking nothing away from Deji. Look, I'm not, I'm not doing that at all whatsoever. He's, he's worked so bloody hard, man. He really has worked so hard. And to see his journey unfold has been nothing short of amazing. I know, I've spoken to him. I know what, what he's gone through, uh, especially over the last few years, you know? So hats off to him. He deserves every bit of success. Um, he's a brother for life, man. So obviously camp, obviously I'm looking at your journey and your background story. So I work with people that have cerebral palsy and when, I, and when I heard about your story and your daughter, I was very touched by that in a way that what he's doing to get into the ring, yes. an inspiration, touch me man, I love it man, inspiration to your family. Um, how was camp? How was camp going into this fight? Um, camp was beautiful. Um, the, last camp, the last spar, I stopped the guy, uh, amateur who was... Um, He's been boxing since 11. He had his pro card. Um, yeah, a few. He got his pro card a few years ago, and I stopped him. It was good. It was it was amazing, you know. But it was an absolute experience, an absolute blast. Um, it's back to the drawing board. Uh, I would love to get back on Misfits, um, fight again, and experience it all again. At the end of the day, like I said, this is bigger than boxing. This is bigger than influence of boxing. This is about spreading the message that I need to spread. Um, as well, you know, and I need to make a difference. And uh, I would love to thank uh, Misfits, The Zone, um, Mams Taylor as well, um, and Cal for for the experience, for letting me speak about cerebral palsy uh, and share my experience. And you know, Misfits have been nothing short of great with doing that. They spent a day with me during fight week, and they let me fully express my my view and my standpoints on, on why, I'm, why I'm doing this journey and on this mission, you know. So, yeah, shout out to Misfits as well because what they're doing is, is spectacular.
That's beautiful, my man. Um, so obviously going forward, obviously you had a fourth week camp. If we see Miles in a full camp, is this what we want to do? What can we see from a full camp? What can we see from Miles in his next fight? Uh, I think I think I need to get more ring experience. Um, I think be it a f eight week camp, twelve week camp, or a four week camp. I think I just need that experience of being in arenas. I thought so in my head. I thought I've performed at Leeds Arena four or five times before with music um, so I thought I would be able to mentally say I've already been here before this is it it's not like that it's totally not like that uh, I need to yeah I need I need that live ring experience you know um, and I'm only going to get better fighting on shows on, on misfit shows you know and yeah hopefully I can do a longer camp this time um, get fitter get stronger won't have to drain as much weight um, yeah, and, and, and just and learn how to deal, take it in the whole week, fight week. Obviously, this is very, very alien to me, the whole fight week of going away from your family. I haven't seen my son in a week. I haven't seen my daughter. My daughter started walking today, so already that was in the back of my head. Like, yeah, already I was like, I want to just go home and see my daughter walk, you know? I've, I've, missed, I've missed the only thing that I will ever... I'm, I'm never going to get that experience back. You know, and I saw it this morning. I got sent a video this morning, and it, in my head, it was already. I'm not going to get that experience. You know, so yeah. I just for now, I just want to go home to my children. Um, I will say definitely, um, your daughter's going to be proud of you, mum, and what you've yeah. done. So apart from the lockdown, don't worry about, <laughs> about it. You got in the ring, you trained, inspiration to others as well, and, that, and that's a good thing, Miles. Man, dust yourself down, get back into the ring. Is there anyone in terms of well, obviously DG, but is there anyone else name that you've got on your head? Uh, yeah, definitely. I think I would love to meet Chase one uh, soon. Obviously, he, I think he just won, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He just hats won off, on points. Hats off to Chase. He, he, um, he won on points. Um, so probably Minicon next, maybe. See how that goes. Um, yeah, I think, let, let's, let's see. Let's see. If I'm, I'm now at 95 kilos. If I'm going to fight Minicon, I have to get back up to the hundreds. Uh, Is that something that will be more healthier for you, that you don't have to drain that weight? No, so my best weight would probably be be about around 85 to 87. Um, that would be my optimum weight. I'm still carrying a bit of excess fat that I don't really need, but I, I like it up in the heavyweights. I do like it up in the heavyweights. Um, apart from that knockdown, <laughs> weight division, everyone's carrying power, my yeah, man. Exactly. You know, and, and we knew that, and yeah. I, I said that. I've, I've said that, and I've maintained that the whole, the whole. Um, kind of build up to mine and Deji's fight is that listen although he's five foot seven I know the geezer packs punch it's, it's, I mean was sorry was that the game plan because you were taller to jab off play off range yeah. jab off the range I don't know what the f am I allowed to swear you can say what you want mate. I don't know why I don't know why the fuck I put my hands up I put them out on the double jab right I've already looked back on some of the footage and on the knockdown I've put my hands out here like why I could have just Jab, jab, step, um, parry, parry, step back, load with the left or load with the right. I didn't do it. And it's my own fault. It's my own fault. Like, it's, I, it's just shit habits. You know, I need to get them out. They always say they come back stronger, my man. Um, your friend, Rex, who is fighting tonight, um, uh, is fighting tonight. Ash is What's the time? What time is he fighting? Um, I, think he's, I think he's on after, isn't he? Uh, I think it's three more fights in. Yeah. yeah. It's hard, bro. It's uh, bro. Uh, so first, I thought they were gonna stop it because uh, there was a couple of times like I just kept on knocking him down. Did you knock him? He said he knocked. He knocked uh, yeah, knocked him down like four or five times. Yeah. And he kept him going, but you know, it's just one of those things because like when I first started boxing, he used to beat me up all the time in the yeah. gym, and like I just, you know, switching the break house. I'm in there with like pros and stuff, and like, you know, the thing about boxing is like, uh, like I would tell anybody, cause like I said, I'm one to speak. I've lost every fight till tonight, and yeah. it's just one of those things. It's like you learn something from every single fight. Keep chiseling and, yeah, you keep chiseling at this thing, man. And you got a great character for us to keep yeah. going. You, you get under my skin, that's yeah. something. <laughs> yeah, I get under your skin. <laughs> you do. You find a way to get there. Thanks. <laughs> nah, brother, seriously. Bro, bro. Done, man. Yeah, thank you, you so you much, Miles. Thank you, bro. Thank you, bro. And we'll, uh, we'll see each other soon. Yeah, we'll, be, we'll, 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 we'll see, see each other we'll soon. Just don't knock me down like Deji did, all right? Because I don't want to get knocked down again. <laughs> nah, well done, bro. Thank you, bro. Right, yeah, thanks, man. Thanks, man. Too. Good luck for the future, man.